everyone, I'm Fred Ranger and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, this is a channel where we talk about photography, filmmaking, storytelling and the gear we use to tell our stories in this day and age. So if you are interested in all of these topics, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification to know where I release new content. And also, if you want to support this channel, there are links below if you want to do just that and buy me a coffee. Uh, speaking of coffee, something that really goes well with having a nice cup of coffee and something that got me inspired in the past few weeks, especially with the current situation. So still in lockdown here in Montreal, Canada. So I needed to find ways to keep my creativity alive and uh, to fuel the passion for photography because it's been hard to be a storyteller, a street photographer, a travel photographer. Um, I don't know if we can call ourselves that anymore because we cannot travel anywhere. Uh, but it, there's a way to actually travel without having to take any plane or any uh, cars. And that way is by books. So I started this new series where I recommend books that I actually really, really like. And I've been buying more books lately. And I think this is probably the best investment more than gear, more than a new lens or a new camera. I think that that actually might be the best investment I made in my photography, in developing my eye and also defining what I really like, what I like a little bit less in uh, the type of photography that's out there. So without further ado, those are my three books recommendation for you guys. And I'm going to start with my favorite one of the three recommendations I'm making this morning uh, or today. It's Fred Herzog, Modern Color. So this is a absolutely beautiful book. And this is a book from a Canadian photographer that photographed Vancouver mainly, also a bit of, you know, on his travels in South America and so on and so forth. But he's, but he's most known for his work of photographing Vancouver in the 50s, the 60s, the 70s. And the tones that you're gonna find in this books are so good. Uh, he was shooting on Kodachrome, right? So there is there another film that color photographer was shooting? Probably yes, but uh, Kodachrome was really, you know, the film to get those tones. It's actually reminding me a bit of Soil Lighter, but without the um, atmospheric uh, type of photography that Soil was really known for. He was more of a straight shooter, so you know what you see is what you get. Although there are shots that are really moody, uh, but I mean, again, the, 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 his work on uh, capturing the moment, the tones and making sure that the frames were telling a story. Uh, for me, this is a book you should definitely, definitely have in your uh, arsenal of inspirational book uh, to get you going. So uh, again, it's a pretty hefty book. Uh, it, it has, uh, you know, more than 300 uh, pages and there's a nice uh, preface. Oh man, this image. This is this is so good, uh, but there's a nice preface um, about you know Fred and, and his work, uh, and there's a bit of more context on what manner he chose to, to shoot and so on and so forth. So again, highly recommend uh, this book from Fred Herzog. I don't know if, if I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, Modern Color, and this is available on you know everywhere. There's photo books, uh, including. Uh, Amazon, of course, if you cannot go to a store. So that's the first recommendation. Let's put it here. The second one is a another massive book, and it's from a photographer I really, really like, and it, he's called Alex Webb. Uh, I don't think he needs a, a lot of introduction, but if you're not familiar with Alex Webb, uh, he has a fascination for storytelling. He was a documentary photographer. Uh, his wife is also a very talented photographer. But again, if we, if we look at those, and I'm, I'm hoping the GoPro here captures the, uh, the overhead shot, but the tones and the colors and the storytelling are incredibly, incredibly inspiring. And I like seeing photos on a big scale like that on a big book because I am, to be honest, tired of scrolling through Instagram or through Flickr and so on and so forth. Uh, I think there is a value in seeing printed work. I am actually starting to print more and more of my own work. And again, the mastery of Mr. Alex Webb 
uh, of the, the moment or the decisive moment and the composition. He's a master when it comes to composition. I mean, if you take a photo like, I had a little bookmark. If you take a photo like this one, which seems like a, you know, just a regular scene, but the way he's layering, his mastery of layers is something very inspiring for me um, because I am a street shooter and travel photographer. And most of the time I was looking for the moment, I was looking for the light, but I never thought about using layers in the way that Alex is actually using uh, it in his photography. I mean, just look, this is another great example of how, you know, filling in the frame, yes, but not necessarily with just one object. You can actually create a lot of layers and tell a more, even more compelling stories. This is another great example. So I'm going to start integrating more and more layers in my photography. This is because of this very book. I got really inspired by flipping through the pages and looking at Alex photography. There's a lot of books uh, from Alex Webb. Uh, I have another one. Again, it's with his, uh, I think it's his wife. Yes. Um, Becca Webb, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, this is the one that's called The Suffering Light. And this is basically 30 years of Alex Webb's photography in one book. And there is an afterword by uh, Jeff Dyer. So very, very high quality printed book that I recommend. And for the third recommendation today, I am going to share a magazine. So you know that I really like uh, Frames Magazine. So the second volume is out. So if you want to subscribe, click on the link down below. This is from my friend Tomasz, uh, Tomasz in uh, Switzerland. And he is, you know, bringing sexy back to printed work and magazines. So I highly recommend it. But I already talked about it last time. So right now I want to talk about another magazine that got me really inspired. And it is this month's uh, Leica Photography Internacional. And uh, this one, actually, I, there's there's beautiful, beautiful photography from some modern photographer, of course, using Leica gear. But again, gear is irrelevant in photo books. Uh, who cares about gear? It's all about the story. It's all about, you know, the mastery of capturing the moment telling a bigger story and there's one story that i want to talk about and it is from a photographer i want to go here elisa martinova and she is a russian photographer and i am literally in love with her work um again her mastery of the storytelling the tones the color to tell that story uh, she went ahead and uh, spent two years working on one series and you know there's there's probably i don't know 20 photos to two years dedicated to this series her aim was to give visual form to the contradictory emotions experienced by the African immigrants um, she met in Italy. And to do so, Martinova has developed an unusual and intense imagery. And I will tell you that, again, I'm captivated. I'm fascinated by this Russian photographer. And this is part of the LFI um, magazine from Leica. And I really encourage you to go grab one copy at your favorite um, camera shop and I think you can find them online too. So this were, those were my three recommendations for this week. I hope you like it. If you have any questions about any of the books that I have here, please ask them down below. If you have your own recommendation and some books that I should, now that you know that I like Soy Lighter and, you know, Fred Herzog and Alex Webb, maybe you have some other recommendations for me. So those were my book recommendations. If you are interested in learning more, please uh, ask questions down below. I've been Fred Ranger. Enjoy life, be happy, and enjoy your books. Cheers. Thank you.